Delusional Nick Diaz says he wants to fight Kamar Usman. It makes zero sense, but it's a trending topic in the fight game right now, and I have to talk about it. I'll pull up what Nick Diaz said, and I'll let you guys know. So TMZ talked to him. He said he's working on the end of the year for a comeback fight. Great, Nick. I want to see you fight one more time, even though you really didn't look like you wanted to be in there against Robbie towards the end. But I'll watch him again. We'll let him go again. Focus on training right now. If I'm going to fight, I want to fight for the title. Nick Diaz, what are you talking about, man? You don't want to fight Kamaru Usman. I guess it's a huge payday, so maybe he does. But let's be realistic. He has no shot in hell against Usman. Uh, they say they want me to fight a bunch of guys and stuff like that. Well, you know what? It's a bigger fight. Um, if I'm going to fight, I want to fight for the title. This blows my mind. He wants to skip all the mess. So you want to jump the line, cut in front of everybody. Nick, it's 2022. Your last win was in 2011, and it was against BJ Penn. BJ Penn is losing street fights in Hawaii nowadays, and he's running for governor. It's, it's crazy, but Nick wants it. Nick wants it. I don't need to go in there and get my ass whooped by one of the young guys. If you think you're going to get your ass whooped by one of these young prospects, why do you think you have a chance against the champion? Maybe it's just a huge payday, right? So he's trying to sell himself here. I don't know. Uh, anyway, and it's not that I won't win. It's just not motivating to fight somebody. That's what I want, to fight for the title. I'm 38 years of age. I'm 38 years old. He's 38. He hasn't won a fight in over a decade, and he wants to fight for the world title. It makes absolutely zero sense, but it's Nick Diaz. And a lot of stuff the Diaz brothers do don't make sense, but especially Nick. Nate, at the very least, I mean, he went five rounds with Leon Edwards. He rocked him at the end. There'd be more of an argument of Nate Diaz fighting for the title against Kamaru Usman than Nick, who's coming off a knockout loss to Robbie Lawler. Old man Robbie Lawler, who was on a four-fight losing streak. Game as fuck, of course. But let's be real. Nick's far past what once was a great prime. He had an incredible career, but that time's gone. You look at Kamaru Usman. I mean, this guy's tearing through the best of the best. Knocked out Masvidal, knocked out Burns, win over the game as hell, Kobe Covington. Usman is the pound-for-pound pound number one guy in the world right now, arguably top two greatest as far as the welterweight division goes of all time. Nick Diaz is not jumping in for a title shot when his last win is against BJ Penn. He just got finished against Robbie Lawler, and it was up at middleweight. He can't even make 170 pounds. We saw everybody got totally trolled right nick diaz was doing a triathlon and he was jacked shredded and we're like oh nick's back nick's back he comes to fight night you know the picture everybody knows it it's a huge meme he's got the gut and he's doing this awful shadow boxing where i don't know if he's winning an amateur boxing match at the novice level at this point because nick diaz looks like he's lost a step he's not quick anymore his reflexes have slowed he's never been a big puncher they say power is the last thing to go but he never really had a ton of it. He just dug his punch as well and constantly stung you with shots. There's no shot that he fights Usman. There's no shot that he beats Usman, but it's literally the number one article on MMA Junkie. They're definitely going to be hyping this up. You know, it's getting clicks. It's something to talk about. I'm doing a video on it. Dana White scoffed at the idea when Diaz first mentioned it and everybody else too. I mean, Daniel Cormier said the same type of thing. But Diaz believes it. He's like, yes, I can go out there and win a fight against Kamaru Usman. I'd say it's delusion. He's lost his marbles. Is it the punches? Is it the reefer? Is it a mix of both? Is it the partying? Is it just the fighter lifestyle? You have to believe you still got it. I'm even looking at a picture from when Nick was in the cage just on the side of MMA Junkie. He's got the dad bod. This guy doesn't look like he should be fighting in a cage anymore, let alone the scariest guy in the weight class, maybe ever. But. If Nick Diaz wants to fight again and he doesn't want to fight a young guy, I have to find a matchup for him because I do believe there's fights that make sense for Nick Diaz. He could come back and do another one, and I think all of us would watch. Would you not watch? Let me know in the comments. Would you watch Nick Diaz fight again? I'll say 90% of the people are down to watch it. Probably shouldn't happen, but we'd all tune in. Let's be honest. It's Nick Diaz. Let's look at the rankings. All right, if you look at actual top 15, there's no shot in hell that Nick Diaz fights nor wins a fight with anybody there. I mean, he's coming off a loss to an unranked Robbie Lawler. So he's not fighting any ranked guys. Can you imagine they threw him 
to uh, Shafkat Rachmanov, he's getting crushed and it's going to kill the Nick Diaz morale. If he wouldn't have lost to Robbie Lawler, I mean, maybe you could sell a Nico Price fight. But he lost that matchup to Robbie. This killed the stock at this point because Robbie hasn't looked great. He's fighting Brian Barbarina on that 276 card, which is overly stacked as fuck, but that's a damn good card. Robbie Lawler, Brian Barbarina, loser. I mean, it's not Robbie Lawler trilogy fight. I doubt they do it. So I'm just going to skip past them. Fuck that one. That's not it. Cowboy Cerrone, maybe whatever happens with Lozon in the next couple of weeks, win or lose, maybe he takes the DS fight, but I don't think they go that route. I just really don't see it. The names that jump out to me, realistically, it's one name that jumps out to me. Matt Brown, who's been wanting to call it a career in the near future, older guy, 40s, coming off the loss to Brian Barbarina. I feel like Matt Brown, Nick Diaz makes a ton of sense. It's a fun fight to put on like a co-main event of a fight night, but they probably won't because of Diaz name. It's a featured bout of the night, fan-friendly ass bout on a pay-per-view. Fan-friendly fight. I guess it's got to be five rounds too because the Diaz brothers just get that title treatment. It's The Diaz fights are just Diaz title fights. They got their own fucking uh, no belt. Their invisible belt they carry to the cagey bout. Matt Brown is the matchup. That makes a lot of sense. How winnable is that for Nick Diaz? Matt Brown still got the grit, and he's coming in heavy. I'll be honest. I don't know if Nick Diaz is beating anyone. He doesn't look like he wants to be there. You want to fight for the 170-pound title, but you can't make 170. You're fighting up at 185 in the last one. Matt Brown and him face off. Probably Diaz, again, will say do it at 85. I mean, I don't think Matt Brown will be opposed to that. Neither of them have to cut weight. Make that shit happen. But it's delusion from Nick Diaz, and I'm concerned for him. Maybe he's got too many yes-men around him. Is it he's just really lost his marbles that much? Like, how do you really do you really believe it? I I don't know. I feel like maybe it's all smoke and mirrors, and Diaz doesn't. With Nick Diaz, you never know. I, I think he might really think he has a shot with Usman, but I don't think he has a shot with anyone I'm looking at. Does he beat Miguel Beza? No. Does he beat Nicholas Dalby? Probably not. Trinaldo? I doubt it. Danny Roberts? No. Rosman and Meev? Like, this guy's losing to everybody outside of the top 25 in the UFC at this point. Nick Diaz is past it, man. The fight is Matt Brown. That's the one that makes the most sense. If you don't want to go Matt Brown, I'll throw another name in the hat. Younger guy, but still fits that bill of, like, entertaining fight, but not anywhere near contender level. Mickey Gall. Hey, Mickey. Mickey Gall's the matchup, too. That could be a fight. I'll be honest. I don't think that is great for Nick either because that length of Mickey Gall is a problem. Anybody who wants it at this point, I really think is this above the Diaz line, man. It's like his time is just passed him by. And it's sad but true. I mean, you know what? If he wants to fight his boy, Martin Sano, let's give him that one. You imagine they throw him Mike Jackson. You're looking through the rankings. Like the only fight that really makes any sense to me is the Matt Brown fight. Or if Carlos Condit wants to say, all right, I'll come out of retirement and take on Diaz, and they run it back in a rematch of a fight that was kind of iffy as hell when they first threw down. It was not a fun matchup, a lot of running from Condit. I remember it years and years back. Could happen, maybe. Nick Diaz hasn't done much for the sport this decade, last decade, really, this decade especially. But he, 2011 was the last win for Diaz. Yes, he came through. He fights for the title, the interim belt against Condit, fights for the world title against George St. Pierre, loses both. In 2015, had the Anderson Silva fight. It was just weird, and he loses a decision. He comes back in 2021, and he gets TKO'd against Robbie Lawler, and he quit. Nick's time at the top is over but we have to play around with some ideas. Matt Brown, Nick Diaz, that's the fight to make. Unless Carlos Condit wants to come out of retirement, then he jumps in the lead and they do that matchup because no way in hell Nick Diaz fights Usman. And if he did fight Usman, I think he's getting knocked out in a round. It's not going to be competitive. I think Usman trashes him and it would make zero sense and we're never going to see it because the UFC knows that ain't the matchup to make. And I doubt the commission will even allow that fight guys i hope you enjoyed this rant on this nick diaz situation it's a trending topic so i had to cover it smash the hell out of the like button if you're new subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications on too if you really enjoy the content share the video and let me know in the comments what you guys think has nick diaz lost it does he actually have a shot against uzman does some of you believe that some of the true nick diaz army believe he has a chance um and do you like the matt brown matchup because to me that's the one to make much love guys i'll see you all in the next one Peace.